hi guys welcome back to my channel like my name is Beatrice if you've seen me for the first time I went to this very cheap market it's a Sunday morning and um, you can get things for cheap, very cheap prices you can get either brand new or like fairly used thrift stuff and I got a microwave for 10 pounds and it's clean it's nice you will see it in the video and I don't know if I would say this is like an intro or the outro because I'm out of the market I couldn't do like a pre I'm so tired. I I did a night shift and we just got back. Things were as cheap as like one pound and five pounds, like ranges, you know. So if you live around Manchester, you live around um, Salford, you live around Manchester and its environs, I would implore you to come check this market out. It's honestly, I feel like it's not as pop popular as it should be because. There are loads and loads of stuff I had already bought. Like if I had known, like I really wouldn't have bothered buying them. I will just come here and buy them. There are cheap stuff here. I'll see you soon. Bye. So this market is called the Smithfield Market. It has a very weird like opening hours. Even on Google, if you check, you see like 2 a.m. to 11 a.m. But the best time to visit this market will be on Sunday, as early as you can in the morning, say 8 a.m., 9 a.m. So you can get the best stuff on time. Because it's just a place where people can come and sell like if you look like that man just held like um tissue it's unbranded but it's very cheap to get so it's just best to come as early as you can in the morning to get as much stuff as you can get say you're moving into a new house or you want to furnish and you don't want to break the bank this is where you like this is just the best look this mackerel different types of um fishes and work boots Honestly, this place is just amazing and the prices are some of the prices are ridiculous. Look, so you see this These are new furniture like new chairs like they are not like thrift. They are new and Even with the new like prices all this furniture you can see they are still cheaper than what you would get On a normal day on Amazon or on normal furniture shops or websites another very important or very very amazing thing about this market is the fact that you can actually bargain so if you know how to price you shall be priced and you know how to bargain this is where you should be like if somebody if they tell you say 25 pounds or something you can literally bargain that thing down to 15 pounds if you are very good i'm not very good to be honest i did bit tired for this kind of talk but i'm just saying like it's 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 a very nice place to be to just come and shop in bulk it's a wholesale market I just came here to get a um, microwave I didn't really plan to come and most of the things I I saw here are things I would have really loved to buy when I moved here newly you get but yeah I, I intend to go back and do a proper shopping because I, I, I didn't know it was going to be this nice all this new microwave you can see here they're like 30 35 pounds 25 pounds and you can bargain them and bring the price down it just depends on how good your bargaining skills are. So this market is at Openshaw in Manchester.
Oh, that's why um, it was supposed to go out with John. Don't buy that. That's what you're going to do. Which one do you want to make? Um, look at this one. I want to see this one. I want to open the bro. Uh, this one. Huh? Oh, my fridge. You need to do that. My fridge is 20 liters. Right. You need big one. No. my people that's how i finally 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 found this microwave it's a thrift microwave it's fairly used it's very beautiful i like red color and we picked it obviously like it's this kind of market there's no place we can test it the woman assured us that the microwave was working that's how we carry microwave to the house and microwave will not work it, like it turns on but you know the hot but it's all right we bought it for 10 pounds so you know to pay me <laughs> So one tip I would advise that you do is, obviously, I know someone who has bought microwave from this market and the microwave worked and is still working perfectly. So I, I'm not going to say because I have I, I had a bad experience with this buy. I'm, I'm not going to say it's a bad place to buy microwave or it's a bad place to buy electronics. I think what you should do, most especially those of you that would want to buy thrifts. See, I bought this microwave for £10. Please, if you want to bargain, bargain less than £10. I beg you, it will be cheaper. So, uh, most especially those people that want to buy this second-hand kind of microwave, tell the people that I'm going to test it. If it does not work, I'll bring it back. Just put it out there somewhere. And also make arrangements for how, in case you get home and it doesn't work, how you're going to return it. Because I didn't have all of that in place. It didn't work, but it's all right. I got, um, I got another microwave from somewhere else. I got on Gumtree. That's another very good website to get stuff. But yeah, and I got for cheap price. And I've got the same one, actually. Same product, the same size, same everything. But yeah, I don't actually regret the buy. To be very honest with you guys, I don't regret it. It's just, now me, I take myself do test run for now. So now you know what to do if you want to buy secondhand electronics from this kind of market. Okay? Enjoy. They even decide to want to see what I'm on. I forgot what I'm on. Thank you. You see? I don't know. I know they chop up this one. I know we did that before. You know Like this, these vegetables, they were so fresh and ignore this price you're seeing here. Like I said before, you can bargain. So imagine coming here and you're seeing fresh corn, you're seeing fresh pepper, fresh tomatoes, all these fresh, fresh things. And you have that ability, you are allowed to bargain. So you can tell them the price you want. You people can argue and come to a final conclusion. And then you get what you came to buy and go back to your house, JJ, with fresh, fresh, fresh vegetables and fruits as well. Like, guys, don't sleep on this. So.
that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video hello kelaine <laughs> like this video and share to anyone who lives around manchester and would love to visit this market and you can also take pictures and send to me on instagram if you actually visit the market let me know let me see what you bought all right guys thank you so much and that was it like after everything, we went back home. Everybody went to sleep after our night shift. I really appreciate you all for coming to watch this video. Please share this video. Bye, guys.